In practice for the US Grand Prix, Tyrrell's Francois Sever had a high-speed accident and died instantly. What was to be a triumphant last race of the season for Tyrrell turned out to be a tragedy instead. Off track, 29-year-old Sever was a cultured man with an artistic background. A stunned and shattered Stuart walks away from Grand Prix racing, his career over. The following day, all the cars, with the exception of Stuart and Chris Amon, lined up with the informed Ronnie Peterson in pole. The US Grand Prix carried prize money totaling $275,000. Swede led away from the start, but McLaren's Peter Revson had engine trouble and stalled. Ronnie Peterson kept his lead for the entire 59-lap race. He had to withstand a strong challenge from Britain's James Hunt, driving the Alexander Hesketh-owned Harvey Postlethwaite modified March 713. Despite setting a lap record, Hunt couldn't pass Peterson, who went on to win his fourth Grand Prix of the season. Hunt's second place was his best performance to date, and Carlos Reutemann was third for Brabham. Ronnie Peterson's win earned him $50,000, almost as much as his total winnings from his three earlier victories. Peterson came to prominence winning the French Grand Prix in July and a month later winning the Austrian and Italian Grand Prix. Peterson was joined on the podium by James Hunt. The Swede finished third in the World Championship ahead of teammate Emerson Fittipaldi but behind Jackie Stewart and the late Francois Sever.